Hi Beetle people, welcome back to A Beetleful Life. So in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the 2 CD anniversary edition of Abbey Road. It just got delivered today. Um, so I think first we're going to take a look at, what, at what's inside and then I'm going to tell you um, a little bit about my thoughts on the um, demos and outtakes that are included on here because um, I did just listen to them. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let's get started. All right, so here is the case. Um, uh, this sticker here was on the plastic, but I took it off and uh, decided to put it on the case itself. As I said, this is the 2CD Anniversary Edition. Um, so on the back here, showed you obviously the track list. Um, one of these CDs is obviously the regular album, and then the other one is some outtakes and you know alternate takes, demos, etc. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Alright, so this is the actual case um, with the CDs in it. So you open it up, you see this picture from the Abbey Road photo shoot, the Apple logo. So there's one CD on each side. So this is the first disc, obviously, of the Abbey Road album itself. And then this is the second disc of the sessions, um, the, as I said, the outtakes, demos, etc. And then this is the back of that, just looks the same as the case for both things. And then here is a booklet. Um, this is kind of basically a mini version of the big book that comes with the um, Super Deluxe Edition. So we'll take a look inside. We start off with this foreword uh, written by Paul. It's a great picture taken by Linda. All right, and then next is this um, also kind of forward written by Giles Martin, who of course remixed um, Abbey Road for the 50th anniversary. Another great picture over here by Linda. So this section here is um, basically talking about the road to the creation of the album, you know, where things were in their career at that point and how they were feeling, you know, as a band. There's some pictures of them in the studio. Let It Be as well, how they actually, you know, um, recorded Let It Be before Abbey Road. And then this is the information about um, the outtakes and such that are on the second CD. I will get more into that after I show this. I like this picture here, Linda and Maureen uh, watching Ringo in the studio. So 
So this section talks about, obviously, the album cover. And then talking about the release of the album, um, obviously in the UK and the US. And obviously the impact of the album itself. Just some credits at the end. And then there's the back. Alright, so I'm going to turn the camera back around and we are going to talk a little bit about the demos and outtakes. Alright, so I'm going to get into the um, kind of just a brief synopsis of the demos and outtakes, but I obviously want to say the album itself sounds great. The new remix is really clear. Um, I'm picking up on some things that I never heard before um, and I, it really sounds good. So I took some notes on the demos and outtakes. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to go through every single one. Um, I think I, I'm going to make a blog post more about it. So you, um, I will be, you know, letting you know on social media when that is up. Um, but I'll just go through a few things that I that I enjoyed. Um, overall, I did have a lot of fun listening to these. It's cool to hear these, um, like, you know, raw versions of what is going to be. You know the finished product it's cool if you listen it to it in the order of um, the demos and stuff and then the actual album so come together take five is first um, I noticed that this did have a really much more intense vocal vocal performance from John it's more of like a twist and shout um, type of vocal like almost screaming kind of um, so that's interesting here it's it's like you know a lot of vocal cracks and stuff like that the something demo I love that um, there's some lyrics in there that aren't in the final version. Um, I think that that was posted to YouTube. It's kind of like a preview before the 50th anniversary editions were actually released. Um, Maxwell Silverhammer Take 12 I think is a lot of fun. Um, Paul is like, you can tell just having a fun time with it. Like he's doing like almost scat singing, like singing some gibberish um, and just having fun with it. Um, I think the lyrics weren't actually finalized at that point because he just like is singing a few key words like Valerie gallery free um, you'll hear that if you listen to that um, oh darling take four definitely has a smoother vocal um, obviously uh, Paul hadn't gotten to that point where he you know his voice had uh, developed into that rough version that is on the the final uh, song um, octopus's garden take nine there is a debate going on about who is laughing in this take um, I personally think it's Ringo who's laughing because uh, he's on the you know the main uh, microphone but uh, a lot of people think it's George who's laughing but I whatever I mean it's not that big of a deal but I think it's Ringo who's laughing personally um, the I want you she's so heavy trident studio um, version or uh, session with the organ is really great um, I never heard that organ um, before, you know, it, it, I think it was kind of buried um, in the final song. You know, it's I read in the book that like, we were really able to hear that organ from Billy Preston, like for the first time. Uh, it's really, really good. Um, because take one is interesting, um, you can hear, this is an instrumental take, and you can hear Ringo clapping to keep everybody on beat. Um, then kind of the whole medley in general, um, it's cool to just hear it kind of raw um and unfinished um and it's I, I like the parts where they're you know kind of joking around and having fun at the beginning and then they launch into the song like they're able to just like switch on um from you know you know just being silly joking around to like okay let's do this um you know even even uh john before the uh they launch into the end he's like okay let's hit it <laughs> um so i yeah overall the I mean the entire album, especially the medley, it's cool just to hear it, the kind of raw versions um, and then listen to the the final, you know, cut, if you will, of the album. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed listening to both of the CDs. 
Um, I definitely think I made a good choice with the buying the two CD edition because I know I listen to CDs uh, more than I do vinyl. Um, but I might get around to getting the picture disc at some point. Uh, really quickly before I go, I do want to mention there was this contest, um, bef you know, relating to the Here Comes the Sun uh, music video that just premiered. You had to basically just submit a selfie of, you know, celebrating Abbey Road. And I was one of the winners, so that's cool. Um, I was in a collage um, that showed before the video premiered. Um, so that was cool to see myself in there. Um, a few other of my online friends were also winners too. So that is going to do it for today's video. So I want to say thank you very much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. And I will leave the links to my blog and other social media in the description as always so you check those out. And as always, have a beautiful day everybody. Bye-bye.